Hey everyone, and welcome to Iwasaki's Place and Replace. This is the post-game review about Doom, after beating the game on Herbie Plane the Difficulty on the Nintendo Switch. On Mars, Dr. Olivia Pierce, a high-ranking member of the UAC, has opened a portal to hell following orders from an unknown but a powerful demon. To prevent complete destruction and chaos, a sentient robot called Dr. Samuel Hayden brought an ancient sarcophagus to the UAC facilities which contained the Doomslayer, our protagonist, who was awakened to fight demons and to stop Olivia Pierce. Whether you are in hell or at the UAC facilities, battles are swift and aggressive. The more aggressive you are, the better, because the game encourages you to attack and kill demons quickly to restore health and replenish ammo, all while constantly moving. The weaponry is quite satisfying. There are seven standard weapons. You start with a pistol, and as you progress, you easily find every other weapon. The combat shotgun, the super shotgun, the heavy assault rifle, the chain gun, the plasma gun, and the gauss cannon. In addition, there are two special weapons, the chainsaw, which uses gas but resupplies you with ammo for all the standard guns upon killing an enemy, and the overpowered BFG-9000, with a very limited ammo capability though. Furthermore, you can upgrade your arsenal with power-ups known as modifications for most of the weapons, improving their performance. The controls are dynamic and easy to master, though you can't fully customize them. However, you can at least choose between predefined control schemes. In my case, I opted for Knuckles controls, because I felt more comfortable playing this style. It is also possible to use the motion controls, which can be very helpful. The only feature I missed was the dash button, which would have been useful in some battles, especially against the pinkies. The visuals and art style are impressive in both design and quality. The environments may feel repetitive at times, but that's not really a problem. As for performance, since I'm not a very demanding player, I didn't notice any drastic frame rate drops. The game runs fluidly and works really fine. The game's voice acting is great, even though there are few characters. Dr. Samo Hayden, for example, is a sentient robot, and it shows an extremely formal and didactic language. I'm a large stone artifact we pulled from hell. While the demonic voice that narrates the Doomslayer's verses uses archaic and sophisticated language, adding to the atmosphere. It is the mighty Titan fell, and dread engulfed the armies of doom. The soundtrack is superb, absolutely amazing. When battles begin, Doom music kicks in, it pushes you to go all out, you feel like you must kill every single demon as they are attacking you because they fear to be killed by you. The music drives you forward and it blends perfectly with the glory kills. I completed the game under 15 hours, playing nice and easy at my own pace. I didn't search for secrets and wasn't intending to 100% it, just played for the story and action. Replayability is valid, especially if you're interested in finding all the secrets and upgrades. You can also challenge yourself by playing on a higher difficulty for a more intense experience. The 
the game is a masterclass in terms of reviving a classic franchise, as I mentioned in the pre-game review, and I can endorse that genuinely. I had a lot of fun, even though FPS games aren't my specialty, and I think everyone should give a try. The only negative points, in my opinion, are that the battle's environments can feel repetitive at times, which, again, is not necessarily a problem, and the absence of a dash button to avoid very quick enemies. But, as far as I know, in Dune Eternal, that feature was added. The battles themselves may be summarized into running and shooting, but honestly, that is what makes Doom, Doom. Final score, 9.5, hands down. This is Doom. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching. If you want more content like this, please consider subscribing. See you around.